Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are breaking down various unconventional wedding dresses and what I would categorize as an unconventional wedding dress. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, drop me a line below, let me know if there's a particular topic, video you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Wedding Fashion Expert, at Lavella Bridal, and at Lavella Plus. Be sure to hit that follow button on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert. So many online searches are happening regarding unconventional wedding dresses. I thought it would be super fun this week for me to show you some images of unconventional dress styles that I would categorize as being really different and unique and something that's really out of the box when it comes to bridal. Without further ado, let's begin with the first dress. First up, we have this beautiful dress from Ines de Santo. It's of course unconventional based on its color, right? We consider traditional wedding dresses to be a shade of white. This dress definitely has blues, periwinkle, purple, all these gorgeous colors, floral printed organza, interesting neckline, interesting layers. It's so dynamic, so unconventional and unique from the fabric, the color, the neckline, and the shape of the dress. There's just nothing traditional or standard about this dress. I have tried this dress on and I love it. The way that the fabric flows, it's just so fun. And this is really for a bride who wants to take a fashion risk on wedding day and doesn't want to be traditional in any way, shape, or form. So this is one of my current trending favorite unconventional wedding looks that are out there at the moment. Next up, we have Erin Deering's wedding look and it's so different, so much feather. She's got a short front, long feather back and you can't miss the hat. This is so unconventional for a wedding look. The only thing traditional bridal about this look is the color and of course there are wedding dresses that have feather that are pretty common to have as a texture although I find it really interesting whenever we have a feather dress at Lavella Bridal it is not something that our brides gravitate towards. I have seen many brides online wear dresses with feathers on them but at Lavella I have found that it's not the preferred material or texture that brides want in their wedding dress. I, of course, have helped brides who have worn gowns with feather, and I I think it's really fun. The one thing to note about a dress or, you know, even a hat that has feather is that you do leave a feather trail behind. It's also very common in dresses that have a lot of glitter. You definitely leave glitter behind as well. So that's something to think about. It's not a make or break whether you're shedding feathers or shedding sparkle, but that is something that does happen. And I think her look is super different. I do feel like the hat blocks her face a bit, but this whole look is so unconventional and very, 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 very fashion forward. And it wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea, but it works for her. And the most important thing is that you wear a look and a style that you feel the most beautiful and confident in to marry your person. Next up, we have an Ines de Santo blue dress. This is our look number three for unconventional wedding dresses. I do often see designers using a light pale blue as a wedding dress color. That is something next to, I would say the next popular two colors that you see for a wedding look after it being white would be a blush pink or a pale blue because it is your something blue for wedding day. 
Even though I see it pretty often, it is still a very unconventional look for a bride to show up in a blue dress for wedding day. I think we can all agree if we were sitting waiting for the bride to make her way down the aisle and we saw a blue dress, we would all kind of perk up a little bit because it is going to be something that we didn't expect. You naturally assume that the bride is going to be in some shade of white. So seeing a blue dress like this with lots of texture, such a unique, very vogue, very fashion look with hints of blush throughout the skirt. It really creates an unconventional wedding day look for sure. Look number four, also by Ines de Santo, another blue dress. What I'm loving about these two blue dresses is that the shape and silhouette is a very traditional shape for a bride, adding that unconventional twist through the colors, the patterns, the textures. For that last dress, it was that one shoulder neckline that was really beautiful. For this dress, it's the cleanliness with that texture added with the straight across neckline, just adding in some traditional with unconventional feels to it, really creating a beautiful marriage and harmony between the two worlds, bringing it all together for a gorgeous look down the aisle for the unconventional bride. Dress number five by Berta Bridal. This is of course unconventional primarily because of the slit. Although I do start to see so many dresses with slits these days and so many brides are opting to wear a wedding dress with a slit that it feels less unconventional today and maybe to me because I'm in the industry. However, for those who are watching who may not be following wedding fashion and not know what is trending right now in bridal this can feel very, very unconventional for many, many people. So Berta is keeping a traditional shape, that ball gown, adding the slit, having that modern rouging neckline to the bodice, creating again a beautiful harmony between a traditional conventional dress and an un conventional, more modern take, keeping it super sexy, which wouldn't be something that in the past brides would opt for. Nowadays, the sky is the limit. We are in a world where there are no rules when it comes to what you want to wear on wedding day. And this is just a beautiful example of that. However, we are keeping this the most conventional thus far based on the color of the look and the fact of the shape and that there is lace also included in this look. Last but not least, our last dress is by Ines de Santo again. Ines de Santo, I have to mention because I did use so many of her dresses for this video. It was just the first designer that came to mind when thinking about unconventional wedding dresses because Ines de Santo releases so many dresses each year for her collection. She debuts two collections a year, April and October, during New York Bridal Fashion Week, which you'll want to stay tuned because I will be covering all of New York Bridal Fashion Week, so be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Wedding Fashion Expert and at Lavella Bridal. Between those two accounts, we do a huge coverage of New York Bridal Fashion Week and all the designers we feature. Going back to Inez. Inez de Santo has three collections that she debuts. The Inés de Santo Couture Collection, Inés by Inés de Santo, and Inés de Santo Jewel Box. Her Jewel Box collection is where she gets to run free. It's almost as if you were to consider a car manufacturer where they create their prototypes. This is sort of what she does in the Jewel Box collection. Extremely unique, unconventional wedding designs that are used for brides who want to do super unique looks down the aisle, completely unconventional, and also for celebrities who may be wearing these dresses on the red carpet. So her Jewel Box collection is not typically seen in stores. It is just debuted during Bridal Fashion Week. And then the dresses that I'm showing you are from her Ines de Santo Couture collection where she gets to bring it just a notch down from the Jewel Box collection and make it a little bit more wearable for brides on wedding day. Another really 
unique thing she does. While yes, I'm showing you all of these dresses in color, she offers every single one of these dresses in ivory. So if you love the design of one of these dresses, you can change the color and make it a more traditional, conventional look, even though she has originally designed it to be extremely unconventional. She is just such a dynamic designer and by far one of the most diverse designers in the sense of that she embodies so many different categories, silhouettes, fabric. There is such a wide variety of the type of bride that wears her dresses because her collection is just so multifaceted and so diverse. Now, back into the last dress, here is a dress that Ines de Santo has designed in black and I'm also showing it to you here in white because I want you to be able to see how while she does this unconventional color, you can order that dress also in the more traditional look as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, just looking and breaking down some of these unconventional wedding dress styles and how fun bridal fashion can be if you want it to be, but also you can keep it super traditional if you wanted to as well. But this is definitely an opportunity where you could have multiple fashion looks leading up to your wedding day if you're having several events happening. Play with your fashion or keep it really safe and traditional. Next week I'm talking about a subscriber requested topic on how brides keep Keep up with trends and what if they buy a dress that was trending and then when it comes time to for them to wear it because there is about a six to eight month lead time for wedding dresses by the time they buy it to the time they wear it do they feel that it's played out how does all of that work as we consider trends in bridal unconventional looks and buying it so far in advance unlike any other purchase we make when it comes to fashion I think that many of us can agree that we change our outfit the night before or we just we change our mind on things that we're going to wear as we lead up to an event where for your wedding dress you are buying this so many months in advance and it's not so easy to just change it at the last minute not to mention these are high ticket priced items it's not like we are going to be dishing out money for six different dresses and just go okay we'll see what we feel like on wedding day right so we will be uncovering that in next week's video please be sure to tune in every Wednesday 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and I will see you in next week's video